COVID has been hitting hardest in Colorado's lower income neighborhoods and communities. A new map out today shows a concentration of positive cases in the metro area that includes Federal Boulevard over here, also the Interstate 70 corridor starting in Northeast Denver and stretching all the way into Aurora. CBS 4's Alan Janay on the story tonight in Denver. Alan, researchers can use these results to really understand where the healthcare system is broken down. Well, Jim's a very careful charting here of COVID cases in many neighborhoods in 2020 before there was a vaccine. And they found some very high concentrations in neighborhoods with lower levels of education, more people who are non English speaking, and communities of color. Places often where housing is more crowded and there's less access to health care. In Colorado's poorer neighborhoods, COVID is exposed to reality. Getting the disease was much, much different by really dramatic proportions. The study out from the nonpartisan Colorado Health Institute broke down COVID rates by neighborhood. Like the differences between Montbello and Park Hill, or the differences between Central Park, what used to be called Stapleton, and East Colfax. Sometimes a tenfold difference in COVID rates, says the Health Institute's Michelle Lee. What's most sobering to me is that these are the inequities that we see play out time and time again. We're always having to educate. It's still going on, says Shanti Meyer, who works for Stride Community Health, which provides care and now vaccines in some of the metro area's most disadvantaged neighborhoods. And we are still seeing patients who come in and have COVID. And we are still seeing patients who come in who really don't understand what the vaccine is about. People who struggle to live often put off care and now vaccination. A lot of it is just about priority, like what's important for them in the moment and in, in the week and then in their life. COVID has taken advantage of that, infecting not only people, but finding weaknesses in the American health care system. It's just amplified the issues that we're really grappling with as we try and create a more equitable health system and a more equitable society. Now, they're still waiting for detailed information on neighborhoods and vaccinations so that they can look at that and how that's worked out as well. Leak says that government policymakers, as well as health care providers, use data like this to determine what services may be best, where vaccines should be concentrated, and where they might add clinics, including clinics at places like schools. In Denver, I'm Alan Janay, covering Colorado First.